Sorting out what combination of software, broker, and data feed you want to use is one of the most frustrating decisions you'll have to make when you start trading futures. There's lots of choices, it's not always clear what the differences are, and not everything is compatible. Things get even more complicated if you want to use NinjaTrader 8 and Jigsaw Day Trader together like I do. I'm getting asked about this more and more these days, which means it was time for a video update. So let's talk about data feeds. So why is this so complicated? Well, there's two recent developments in the future space that make your decision a little more complicated than it used to be. The first problem is that the CME rules limit amateurs to one data feed connection. If you want two connections, you'll have to pay the professional fee. Of course, there are ways around that, but I'm getting ahead of myself. The other big change is that brokers and software platforms are working a lot more closely these days. Overall, this has been a great thing for traders. Brokers can reduce the number of things they have to support and can focus on creating one solid front to back solution for you. However, it also means less compatibility for those of us that like to tinker. Now, when it comes to data feed, there's tons of options, especially when you consider all the full stack solutions. That's going to include platforms like Trading Technologies, TradeStation, Interactive Brokers, Tradeovate, and yeah, I'm sure I'm going to miss some important ones, but you get the point. There's also a lot of independent data providers like IQFeed, which is a more high-end solution, and DXFeed, which is a newcomer, which is available for these platforms. However, the vast, vast majority of viewers that watch my channel are going to be using either Rhythmic or CQG. So. Which one should you use? Well, in terms of quality of the data, the two platforms are pretty similar. I recently switched my data around and had the chance to test some side by side. You'll notice that some updates don't come in the same order and there might be a frame difference between the two, but nothing that is going to make a difference for a retail trader executing by hand. There are some major differences between the two options though. The advantage to CQG is that you can pay a little extra to get access to things like the VIX or market internals. Market internals are things like how many stocks in the index are moving up or down at the time. I've done some back testing with internals and I found that there appears to be some edge that at least gets you to break even. Some people swear by them, but I thought that it was just kind of okay. Rhythmic, on the other hand, gives you more depth of market levels. CQG limits how many levels you can see based on the instrument, usually 10 levels each side, although they do provide a lot more levels for instruments that move a lot, like oil or the S&P 500 futures, while Rhythmic basically allows you to see everything. Another advantage to Rhythmic is the Rhythmic Trader Pro plugin mode. Blech, that was a mouthful. This basically allows you to forward data from Rhythmic to multiple applications and avoid the problems with the multiple connections rule. Now I've used both Rhythmic and CQG and while the differences are pretty minute, I have to say I very much prefer Rhythmic. I like having more depth levels and I love being able to forward data to multiple applications at the same time. But right now I actually use CQG. Wait, what? Yeah. So so I really like to use NinjaTrader 8 and Jigsaw Day Trader together. I do my back testing and charts in NinjaTrader 8, and then I do all of my execution in Jigsaw. And for more information on why I like NinjaTrader 8 and Jigsaw, you can go and see this video where I talk about the best futures software platforms. Anyways, Jigsaw and NinjaTrader have a uh, complicated relationship. In the beginning, Jigsaw was just an add-on for NinjaTrader. Eventually though, Jigsaw saw the need to split off and become its own platform. However, people like myself still like to use the two together, so Jigsaw created the bridge. This is a little indicator you stick in a NinjaTrader 8 market analyzer column that allows you to forward data from NinjaTrader to Jigsaw. So basically, I connect NinjaTrader 8 through CQG and then forward the data to Jigsaw through the bridge. Now, as I said, I would prefer to use Rhythmic. That would allow me to connect both applications directly to Rhythmic Trader Pro. That way, if something happened to one platform, the other would still be going. Plus, the new Jigsaw charts aren't supported if you're using the bridge. Unfortunately, NinjaTrader Brokerage doesn't support Rhythmic. 
The Ninja Trader platform itself has Rhythmic. If you use a demo license and a broker with Rhythmic, it works. The demo license won't let you submit live orders, but it works, at least for now. So uh, don't tell Ninja Trader or they might change it. It's just that now Ninja Trader is its own futures commission merchant and they don't support rhythmic okay so that's all really complicated but the gist of it is this if you want to use ninja trader 8 and jigsaw together your options are use ninja trader brokerage and c2g continuum as your data feed with a full ninja trader 8 license connect in ninja trader 8 and pass data to jigsaw through the bridge. This allows you to submit orders and run automated strategies in Ninja Trader 8, but you won't be able to use the Jigsaw charts. And if Ninja Trader crashes, your data in Jigsaw will stop until you fix Ninja Trader. Or you can use a broker that supports Rhythmic and connect both Jigsaw and the demo version of Ninja Trader to Rhythmic Trader Pro with its plugin mode. This allows you to use both Ninja Trader and Jigsaw charts at the same time, and Jigsaw won't be affected if Ninja Trader crashes. However, you won't be able to use Ninja Trader 8 licensed features, which honestly is not a bad way to go, especially if you don't already own a Ninja Trader 8 license. Or you could just use Jigsaw Day Trader. It doesn't completely replace Ninja Trader, but their new charting package is adequate. The DOM is really the most important tool that I use, and Jigsaw definitely has the best DOM. A programming interface is the only thing really missing, and maybe that might actually happen in the future. I love to see the ability to send data out of the back of DayTrader to R, Python, or C Sharp. In the meantime, though, I'll keep using the bridge and CQG. Make sure to check the comments where I'll add updates if any of this information changes. I'll see you guys when I'm live streaming. And in the meantime, stay profitable, friends.